Hi everyone, my name is Eric and today I will be reviewing the HAK905. This is a great little quadcopter for beginners. Um, I'm going to show you how this thing flies outside. I'll fly it during the day and uh, at night. Um, I'll also do an unboxing at the end of the video if you guys want to go to, uh, if you want to fast forward to any of those times. And I included a link in the description below where you can pick one of these up for the best price. If you guys do like the video, I always appreciate those thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my future reviews. And if you guys do have any questions, please just leave them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to get back to everyone. Thank you. So first, to turn it on, you are your on and off button on the bottom. So let's start from the beginning. So we'll turn it on, turn on the control, bring the throttle all the way up, all the way down, where the lights are solid, now it's ready to go. And make sure when you turn it on, have it on a flat level surface, don't be holding it at an angle, because sometimes that uh, throws off the gyro. And now it's ready to go. Your trim tabs, you do have trim. Um, you have your trim uh, for your left, right, um, forward and reverse right here. And then you also have your uh, rudder or yaw trim over here. I noticed flying it for the first time, the trim was really spot on. After a few crashes, you know, this thing might get a little bit out of trim. So you can just put it um, in trim using these tabs right here. Um, these buttons, by the way, they don't do anything. You have your flips up here. So you hold that down and then you, you take your control in whatever direction you want to do your flip. So if I hold this down, go this way, the quadcopter is going to flip this way. And then you got your speed settings over here. You press once. Now you're in uh, medium speed and three times you're in uh, fast. So one beep, you're in uh, slow, two, medium, three, fast. And I'll show you those different speeds during the flight video. Now it does come with four extra blades. Um, but you cannot just put any blade on in any order you want. You want to make sure, look at the numbers on the blade. This is B2, so look up here, there's tiny writing, uh, this is B2. So if you put this blade on this one, it's not going to work. It has to go on the uh, correct one. So just make sure you pay attention to the, to the numbers and letters on here. The charger is a USB charger, so you know, which makes it pretty nice. You can charge from any, uh, pretty much any wall uh, charger or you know like a laptop. So the structure overall is really sturdy. Um, you know a lot of these other quadcopters kind of have blade guards that do uh, you know they do kind of a minimal job um, and they can still hurt. So if you try to catch it or if you hit someone right in here you know the blades are gonna are gonna hit you. Um, this one does a really good job at protecting the blades and anything that it hits. Um, even if it goes upside down you know, the blades are not going to get damaged. And the really nice bright lights on this thing, uh, they're not very noticeable during the day, but definitely when the sun goes down or when you're flying this inside, it's very visible. It makes it a lot easier to tell which direction is front and what direction is the back. And it just makes this thing really fun to fly and really easy to fly. And as far as replacing the blades, you can just pop them out really easily like that if you do need to replace one and then just pop them on right back there. Um, it does come with the uh, screwdriver and I, I thought that at first was um, to unscrew the propellers but it's actually, it comes with a screw for your uh, battery compartment. This takes four AA batteries. Now as far as handling goes, it handles really great. The six axis gyro does make it very stable, uh, but it's not gonna be your fastest quadcopter for this size. Beginners will appreciate kind of the, the slower feel to this. It almost feels more controllable. It's still fast, but you don't have that kind of erratic movement that some of these other quadcopters, like this is the uh, Hudson. If a beginner were to fly this one for the first time, it'd be very frustrating because this thing can get away from you really quick. It's uh, just very erratic almost. Uh, still stable and it's a great quad, but it's a little bit too much for beginner flyers. The HAK905 is just all around really well protected. You know, when, you're, when your blades are going, you know, they don't hurt that bad when you, when you put your fingers in because you can't touch the sides, you can only touch the top. Okay, and to access the battery, you just pop this out and you can put in new uh, extra batteries. Batteries are pretty inexpensive for this thing. So the battery comes out here and there's a connector right there, like that. So that's my review on the HAK905. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Okay, I'm gonna start out in slow mode. This is full forward. 
slow-mo. Okay, I'm gonna go to uh, medium. You get those two beeps. This is medium, pull forward. Now let's go in full fast. Fast mode, full forward. Pretty quick. All right, let's bring it back. Let's do some flips. Yeah, this thing looks really great flying right at dusk, right after the sun sets. You can really see these LED lights perfectly. Okay, so let's go do a forward click. Back flip. And let's do a flip to the side. And a flip to the other side. Cool. And this is full yaw. It's not too fast, but it's very controllable. Makes the quadcopter feel very uh, stable. But when you do want to go fast, this thing does have some speed to it. It's kind of cool. Let's do a flip going forward. It recovers from those really well. Let's get back so you guys can see it. Let's do a range test. Go ahead and take it straight up. There's no wind right now, so it does lose reception. Oops. My fault. You can really see this thing, even up high. Still got reception. See, it's like 200 feet away. I'm just gonna cut the throttle. I lost uh Last sight, let's see how the gyro, whoa! Gyro handles great coming down. There's very little wobble. It's impressive. So yeah, as far as the distance goes, I mean, pretty much as far as you can see it. Great distance with this controller. Very nice. And the, the power of these motors, I mean, this thing, when it wants to get up, it goes up. Look at that go. Let's do a flip way up there. I'll let it free fall.
All right, it is a 2.4 gigahertz, so you will be able to fly outside and uh, more than one at a time. Um, USB charger, super convenient. And let's go ahead and unbox it. You got your user manual. It's very well, it's really nicely packaged in here. I would, you know, if you're gonna be storing this, um, you might wanna keep the box because the box offers really great storage. Good size uh, remote, feels really nice in the hands. I don't think these buttons do anything, but you do have your trim tabs. And I believe this is for your aerobatics and then this is for your speed, um, switching your speed right here. And then underneath, you have your extra blades. You have uh, four extra blades, you have your little, um, screwdriver to replace the blades, and then you have your USB charger right here. And let's go ahead and turn the quad on. Okay, I got the batteries in the remote. I'm gonna turn it on, bring it up, down. Now the lights are solid, and you're ready to go.